Hey, hey, what's up, guys? My name is Mutemo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, I'll show you how I do my frequency separation in Photoshop. So, in my previous video, I showed you how to do frequency separation with the easiest way. And many guys told me to repeat the video again and see how to do. And I managed to shoot this. This, this portraits in my home studio so let me show you how we do frequency separation you can see right now I'm removing the blemishes so guys let me know please le help, let me know what you want to see next in my youtube channel also if you want to see behind the scenes how I take my photos please let me know so so I can see right now I'm trying to remove the blemishes and see how this photo will turn out to look like. So don't worry about you don't have to be so perfect in moving the blemishes. So so this model is called Kelly, so you can check her out on Instagram. She's a very very good model. Yo, the makeup artist did some amazing job over here you can see yeah so as you can see i've removed the blemishes in this photo so the next thing i'll do i'll create the dodge and burn layer so i duplicate twice name this color name this texture okay so for this method i'll use the dust scratches and dust dust and scratches method so i'll go to noise dust and scratches so i'll zoom somewhere in the skin where i think my the textures are a little bit very very high so it, you can see this photo is very 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 sharp it's here because i shot with the nikon decent 50 is a 20, 20 something megapixel camera so yeah so what i'll do i'll pull this radius to somewhere where i'll see my the textures of the screen of the skin disappearing but remaining with the color and the details so okay so image apply image color scale to or past 100 blending mode subtract then okay then linear light this is the easiest way to do frequency separation in a very very short time so i'll use the lasso tool i'll feather it to 20. then let's start by making a black and white layer to see where the skin tone imperfections are then let's put all this in a group yeah like that okay perfect so the next thing i'll do i'll Start by see. So we start by highlighting the forehead. We go to filter. Sorry, I didn't do it perfectly. So let's see somewhere like there. Do it there. Go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So let's give it, if we our radius was something like 10, so I'll multiply by 3 plus 3, so to get the radius which will give us the best texture, so that will be 33. What do you think about that, guys? Let's continue. Light this. Light this area over here.
yeah sorry guys i kept quiet you can see how i'm doing the frequency separation it's a very so the next thing i'll do i'll pick my mixer brush tool and now start mixing the parts where i didn't touch with the lasso tool so still put my black and white layer on and then paint the parts where i think my last tool did actually reach nicely so please guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers and i'm trying to upload as much content as possible so and if you learn something through me i um, will be really really grateful i really appreciate if you get me to 1000 subscribers and yeah just keep on growing keep on training keep on practicing and yeah oh those don't know me i'm a professional photographer in kenya yeah so you can see i'm painting on the highlights i want i like my photos with this cheekbone popping so so i shot this number with, with this photo with f 7.1 because I did it indoors. I, I just did them in my house today. So yeah, I mean yesterday. Yeah, so. I like my photos when the cheekbone really pops so nicely. Yeah, you can see how I'm brushing, guys. So I use both the lasso tool and the mixer brush tool. Make sure after you use you when you use the right right when you use the right num the right the right values for your frequency separation, whether using the Gaussian bra or the scratch method, noise and scratch method. If you, you did it right, you remain with a very, very good skin with very amazing texture. So let me disable and you can see my photo looking awesome. The skin tone really balanced and everything looking very, very nicely. You can see everything is really nicely done. You can see the details of the eyes. Yeah, this is the easiest way of doing frequency separation and it's really a very, very awesome method. And uh, I'm trying to be uploading as many pre videos as possible in my YouTube channel. So guys, please keep on watching, keep on subscribing. And if you just came across this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more, more and more content. So let me just show you the before and the after on how I did this photo. Here the before, after, before, after, before, after, before, after. So what I'll do, I'll enable the black and white and remove these small, small blemishes remaining over here. So <coughs> brush. So if you want to try this, if you want to be perfect with skin retouching, you have to practice a lot. Do so much practice and you will really, really, it will really help you at some point in life. So, and your photos will be just looking wow and wow and your job will be on another level. And it's a process to learn, but the moment you learn, it really 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 helps yeah the small small blemishes in the skin it ensemble to reduce the size of light ensemble make sure there's the bigger blemishes just zoom back and see how my photo looks 
you can see your photo is looking amazing and amazing and amazing so you try to remove these bad marks So guys, if you haven't subscribed my to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I will up, be uploading so much and so much videos, mostly possible on a daily basis. So don't forget guys to subscribe. I will be really, really, really grateful. And at least I'll be doing indoors and outdoor tutorials for frequent separation color grading and everything yeah so thank you guys that's just how i do sorry i think i messed up somewhere so thank you guys that's how i do my frequent separation so in the next tutorial i'll be showing you how i do i do my dodge and burn and how i'll be dodging and burn this photo in the same time I'll show you how I'll be doing color grading in this particular photo. And you can see I had done some color correction in Lightroom. And if you want my presets, guys, I can get you some free presets for my Lightroom. Thank you, guys. See you in the next